Olá, pessoal! What have you been doing lately? Studying Portuguese? I'm so proud of you! Welcome back to Playing Portuguese, where you learn how to talk what you have been doing lately and speak like a Brazilian. Are you new to our channel? Then don't forget to subscribe and watch the previous lessons. They are great! In today's lesson, you will learn a verb tense that is equivalent to the present perfect continuous in English. I'd like you to meet the pretérito perfeito composto. That's right, first, middle and last name. Pretérito perfeito composto. Grab your notebook and join me. As I said in the introduction, the pretérito perfeito composto is equivalent to the present perfect continuous in English, being used in structures like What have you been doing lately? Oh, I've been working a lot lately. Or I've been having so many meetings. Yeah? Let's see first how the pretérito perfeito composto is formed. You will need an auxiliary verb plus a main verb. You must combine the present tense of the verb ter, to have. So, you combine the present tense of ter plus the past participle of the main verb. Past what be a participle? The past participle in English is used in sentences like I've spoken to him this week. She's been to Brazil twice so far. He hasn't done his homework. Hmm, why not? Spoken, been, done are examples of past participles, yeah? Note that the pretérito perfeito composto in Portuguese looks like the present perfect simple in English, like have done, but it's equivalent to the present perfect continuous, have been doing, yeah? Will you remember that? That the pretérito perfeito composto Looks like one verb tense, but it's equivalent to another one. Hmm. As I said, you must combine the verb ter in the present tense. Eu tenho, você, ele, ela tem, nós temos, vocês, eles, elas têm, with the past parts full of the main verb. Today we'll focus on how the regular verbs look like in the past participle form, which means that you should hit the notification bell so not to miss when the regular verbs will be covered. Well, how to form the past participle of regular verbs? AR and verbs. Drop the final AR and add ADO to it. Trabalhar becomes trabalhado. Estudar, estudado. Andar, Andado, ah, very good. Ficar, ficado. Jogar, jogado. Now, ER and IR ending verbs. Drop the final ER, IR, and add ido to it. Comer becomes comido. Ler, lido. Ter, Tido. Correr, corrido. Huh? Assistir, drop the final IR, assistido. Ouvir, becomes ouvido. Dirigir, dirigido. Ir, drop the final IR, oh, ido. <laughs> yes. If I want to say that I have been studying a lot lately. Lately means ultimamente. Ultimamente. Five syllables. Ultimamente. Repeat. Ultimamente. Ultimamente. Mm -hmm. I've been studying a lot lately. Eu tenho estudado muito ultimamente. So, ter in the present tense plus the past participle of estudar, estudado. Eu tenho estudado muito ultimamente. Repeat. 
Você tem estudado muito ultimamente. Ela tem estudado muito ultimamente. Nós temos estudado muito ultimamente. Eles têm estudado muito ultimamente. Wait. Have you noticed that the past participle when used with ter is invariable? Eu tenho estudado. Você tem estudado. Ela tem estudado. Nós temos estudado. Eles têm estudado. I like that. So don't forget. Past participle will be invariable when used with ter. Hmm, don't forget it. If you want to make the sentences negative, huh? Simply add não. I mean, simply put não before ter. Eu não tenho estudado. Você não tem estudado. Ela não tem estudado. Nós não temos estudado. Eles não têm estudado. Easy like that, but I don't like these examples. Everybody should be studying. <laughs> Vamos praticar? Now help me fill in the blanks with the verbs given. Hmm. Ir. Ultimamente, eu tenho ido ao parque caminhar. Ele. Ele tem corrido todos os dias. Hum. Mm -hmm. Ela tem andado de bicicleta. Nós temos caminhado juntas no parque. E você? Você tem se exercitado ultimamente? Você tem comido bem? I'm not your mom, but I want everyone to have a healthy life. Thank you for watching another lesson and see you next time. Até a próxima. Tchau!